I think Ripple will win because it had no legal obligation to purchasers of XRP after the sale occurred. No post-sale obligations. In other words, there can be no investment contract without an investment contract. I think Ripple wins on this because it is correct. And in the last month, Ripple has received unexpected backup on this issue from the Paradigm Operations Amicus Brief. And in their brief on page two, it states, quote, a comprehensive analysis of federal and appellate law reveals that no authority exists to support the SEC's attempt to transmute the Howey analysis of an investment contract transaction into a conclusion about the underlying asset. In every application of Howey where an investment contract was found, there was some identifiable legal relationship between between an ostensible issuer and the investor providing investment capital. The evidence is clear in the Ripple case that there is no ongoing legal relationship between Ripple and XRP purchasers. There's just none. And the SEC has failed to address that problem.